Let's discuss about the second chapter that is nothing but the healthcare in India. First, we can see the primary health center, primary health care. Sorry, uh, the essential health care. It is nothing but the essential health care. It is characterized by four years. Uh, acceptability, accessibility, availability, and the affordability. The principle of primary health care is the four principles are there like equitable distribution, and the second one, community participation, third one, intersectoral coordination, and fourth one, appropriate technology. Let's discuss about the first one equitable distribution is nothing but the health services should be equally available to everyone in the society, irrespective of socio economic status that is, the rich and poor, and the demographic status that is, the rural, urban, and the tribal. Uh, where you can see in the second community participation there are two types like by utilizing the health services provided at health centers like example immunization services antenatal services and the outpatient services and in the second one by volunteering the provision of health services like for example the asha worker and the bare food doctors in china and the village health guides these you can remember and the intersectoral coordination example covid 19 when the covid 19 came our government kept lockdown and also the police sectors helped a lot of treatment centers and testing center in the awareness example also you can remember the post polio program and fourth one appropriate technology it is technology that scientifically sound and adaptable to local needs and affordable by the community example newborn when the newborn is uh, getting hypothermia, we will keep the newborn in incubator that needs the hospital and nurse. And a second, the second one, it's the kangaroo mother, as you all know. And um, here, uh, another example we can take, the example dehydration. When the dehydration comes, we will we'll get a rehydration. And what is the type of rehydration by which we can, get, we can take uh, IV fluids and also ORSL. IV fluids like IV stand, hospital nurse we need. Um, which among the following is not a principle of PHC? That is the community diagnosis. What are the elements of healthcare? There are total eight elements. The first element is essential drug provision. Second element is locally endemic disease prevention and control. Third is health education. Fourth is maternal and child health services including family plan. Fifth one is immunization services. Sixth one is nutrition promotion. Seventh one is treatment of common diseases and injuries. Eighth one is safe water supply and basics um, sanitization. There are three tier health system. What is three tier health system? There are primary level, secondary level, and tertiary level. What is the primary level? The first level of contact. Example: PHC and sub centers. What is the secondary level? The first referral level. For example, community health centers or the first referral level or sub-district hospitals or you can call area of hospitals or taluka hospitals. Tertiary level, super specialty hospital, example district hospitals and a medical college. What is the sub-center? Sub-center covers a population of 5000 rural areas and uh, 5000 people in rural areas and 3000 people in tribal or the hill areas. What is the manpower? The multi-purpose health worker, maybe female or maybe male. What is the female role? Auxiliary nurse midwife. That is nothing but the nurse. Okay. The questions. The number of beds in a sub-center only one or two beds. The basic point of healthcare in India is sub-center. The first point of contact of community with health care system is sub-center. Here types of sub-centers. You can see types of sub-center that is going to dividing into two types. The first one is no delivery facilities and the delivery facilities. Here primary health center. In general it covers 30,000 people. It covers the population of 30,000 people in the rural areas and 20,000 people in the tribal and the hill areas and 50,000 people in the urban areas. In PHC a medical officer should be like MBPS services uh, available. Number of beds 4 to 6. One primary health center referral center for 6 to 7 sub centers. It is very very important. And one PHC is 6 to 7 sub centers. One PHC uh, you can remember 6 to 7 sub centers. The manpower at PHC. The manpower at PHC. The medical officer uh, should be there like uh, one or two people. And uh, medical officers means like MBBS uh, and also, okay, but MBBS doctor should be there. ANMs like three to four people, health assistant female 
and public health nurse and lab technician pharmacist driver peon clerk sweeper like that and the types of phc uh, there are two types less than 20 deliveries per month and more than 20 deliveries per month let's discuss less than 20 deliveries per month the first point of community of with the health officer is a phc healthcare system and a health professional sub center community health center it covers the population of 80000 in the tribal areas and 120000 in rural areas number of beds 30 as you know the phc covers for uh, number of beds 4 to 6 and in the um, sub center uh, the number of beds is only one or two okay here uh, you can see the specialist uh, services are available like general medicine general surgery pediatrician gynecologist anesthesia ophthalmologist and the in the village level a village covers a population of 800 to 1000 people like we can see uh, in the village there is a village health guides and also trained local dayas and anganwadi workers and the asha workers what are the health professionals and also we will discuss each and every one health professionals and norms suggested first doctor a doctor is in india we can see one doctor uh, for every thousand people one doctor health worker maybe male or female or nurse she should cover 5000 in rural areas and 3000 in tribal areas like uh, it's like a subcent health assistant male or female at phc level she should or he should cover 30000 in rural area and 20000 in tribal areas what are the pharmacist pharmacist for in india you can see the pharmacist in um, 10 for every 10000 people ideally there is one pharmacist and also the lab technician also same 10000 for every 10000 people one lab technician and a nurse for every 5000 one nurse the urban social health activist usha thousand to two thousand five hundred population there is one osha for every thousand uh, asha asha abbreviation accredited social health activist and a trained dias or trained birth attendant for every thousand people i mean in the villages village health guide also and anganwadi worker in the rural area she should cover 400 to 800 and in the tribal and hilly areas 300 to 800 what is Mahila Aragya Samiti? She also should cover 250 to 500 population. So this is the second uh, chapter.